mark one year death anniversary of six separatist leader and designated terrorist for government of India, Hardeep Singh Nijjar, the Parliament of Canada honored him by standing up for a moment of silence in the House of Commons. The video of Canadian Parliament has gone viral and now many are strongly reacting to the standing ovation being given to separatist leader as India and Canada are strategic partners and Hardeep Singh Nijjar, who was shot dead outside Gurdwara in Surrey last year, was a designated terrorist by Government of India. During the last G20 meet in New Delhi, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau did raise the issue of Hardeep Singh Nijjar's killing with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The killing of Nijjar caused much friction between India and Canada, and in fact, Fresh diplomatic row also erupted when Foreign Minister of Canada and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau both openly blamed India for the alleged involvement in the killing on the basis of credible allegations. Indian government from day one has been denying its role in any kind of transnational killings and has agreed to cooperate, provided if Canada agrees to provide evidence to the Indian side. And the fallout of diplomatic row, Canada, India both had reduced diplomatic presence in each other's country. Indian side has to say time and again in the form of dossiers, evidence, uh, etc. Multiple times Canadian authorities, Canadian side has been informed about the garristers and in the Indian, India forces taking shelter in Canada. But not once action has ever been taken by Canadian authorities against such elements. People-to-people -people ties also got affected in last one year as due to aggressive protest by pro-Khalistani groups outside Indian uh, Embassy High Commission in Canada, counselor facility has to be paused for a time being. Since last few weeks, both sides have shown willingness to engage again. Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Trudeau met on the sidelines of G7 in Italy but such bizarre exercise by Canadian Parliament could again derail the process of engagement. To mark first anniversary, even massive protest was again organized by Khalistani groups outside Indian Foreign Office in Vancouver. Few weeks back, uh, uh, if you remember, Indira Gandhi's uh, uh, assassination movement was depicted in a tableau at a pro-Khalistani rally to which Indian side had raised very strong operation had taken up matter with the Canadian authorities. Since last one year, Indian Foreign Service officers, staff living in Canada are living in constant fear as regular protests taking place outside uh, Indian consulate, venues, etc. Multiple times Indian side has spoken against it, but not once action has ever been taken against such elements. This time, Canadian Parliament keeping one minute silence for Nijar is perhaps the biggest show of support that Khalistani groups have ever received from any Canadian institution.